Put your balls away. Not like that. Get your mind out of the gutter. I'm talking about actual balls, not what you think. Welcome to the first episode of The Brood Awakening, where I wake you up to the harsh reality of what's going on in the business world, what people are doing wrong. So what do I mean by put your balls away? Well, a lot of uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, brands um, just aren't are throwing entirely too much at their prospects and customers. So picture it this way. If I had a handful of balls, you know, a basketball, a soccer ball, a lacrosse ball, softball, baseball, let's say I had a dozen balls in my hand, I threw all of them at you and caught you off guard by surprise. Like that. How many would you catch? You're not going to catch all 12. You're not going to catch 8, 10, 6, 4. You'd be lucky if you catch one or two. Probably just one. But unfortunately, so often we see a lot of marketers, business owners, brands just throw a lot of balls at their prospects. If you've ever heard an interview on a podcast where someone says, hey, uh, thanks for coming on the show. If our guests want to learn more about you, where should they go? You can follow me on Instagram at, at coach underscore brew underscore or on Twitter at coach brew or on LinkedIn.com slash in slash coach brew or on Facebook, Facebook.com slash coach brew. Like mine are all pretty brand congruent. Most aren't. But the point being, you don't want to give a hundred, maybe not a hundred, but most people, most brands will give five, six different platforms for people to reach them on because they think they need to make it super convenient for, oh, if people are on Twitter, they'll go here. If people are on Instagram, they'll go there. Or if people are on Facebook, they'll go here. Like, give them one go-to place that houses everything. Mind blown. I know. Novel concept. Throw one ball that everyone can catch. For example, if you go to my website, coachbrew.com, by the way, head on over there after this video, you can reach all my social media platforms through the little uh, icons at the top and the bottom of the page on my website. Probably every page on my website. You can find a way to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, aka Coach Brewtube, uh, and everywhere else. Instagram. But the point being, I don't throw them all at you at once. If you subscribe to my electronic newsletter, you'll notice that I don't throw any of them at you. I don't even have a share button where people can share the newsletter. Why? Well, I used to. Nobody shared it. And it took away from the one, one call to action I wanted people to do. Respond to the offer at the end of the article. I stripped away everything from my newsletter and my blog. So that the only thing you're getting is the article you're reading. And at the end of it, the call to action, the one call to action I want you to take. Whether it's a book I'm promoting, uh, my coaching services, there's a sales offer. And the reason I share this with you today is I see this far too often when I receive email contact, uh, I watch an interview, listen to a podcast, the content I consume, I see this, this uh, concept of throwing a dozen balls at your audience way too much. And what it does is causes uh, paralysis by overanalysis. It causes stimulus overload. Instead of doing one thing, you're asking them to do 12 different things. They're going to do zero. Zero. And you failed as a marketer. You failed as an entrepreneur, as a salesperson. You 
can't you can't take a show up and throw up approach. You need to take um, monofocus. I think is the word I'm looking for. You should have mono maniacal monofocus. How's that? I don't even know what that means, but you need to focus on one thing so that your audience can understand and process that one thing. Again, going back to the analogy, if I had a handful of all kinds of different uh, balls for different sports, I threw them all at you, you you're not going to catch them all. You're going to catch one. You can only focus your attention on one thing at a time, otherwise... Uh, your, your brain just goes into stimulus overload. So an example I would give you is, um, and I won't mention the uh, entertainer by name, but there's a colleague of mine who is an entertainer, a musician, country music artist. And when he engages in out outreach via email with his audience, which is entirely too infrequently, I might add, um, there are literally a dozen different calls to action in the email and what do you think happens starts off talking about one thing you know his uh, website is revamped and that's the first thing he's talking about and you can check it out at this link and he lists the link and then he talks about how he has created a patreon account and you can subscribe to his Patreon. That's the second thing, with a link there. And then also he has new music, and he talks about like all the different benefits of his Patreon, all the different levels, by the way. And as a result, like you've watered down your message, you've lost focus. So we've got the website, which is revamped, the Patreon, and you could even add in all the different levels because there's links to join at every level as opposed to just like, I don't know, sending a separate email out about the Patreon with one link to the sales page and people can choose. Your audience is not stupid. Send them the one call to action and they can choose what they want to subscribe to. You don't have to fire everything at them all at once. So. That was the second thing. Website, Patreon, third thing, new music. And this is like really 3A, B, C, D, and E. Here's my new music, and here's where you can get it. It's on Spotify, link to Spotify. It's on Apple Music, link to Apple Music. It's on YouTube, link to YouTube Music. There's a music video on YouTube, link to that. There's a lyric video, link to that. So within that one subheading of his email, there are five different, six different calls to action, at least for where people can go consume music. Amazon, Google, like that's, I think I just rattled off seven. So you've now diluted your message and watered it down even more. I would estimate, conservatively speaking, he lost half of his audience in that second subheading of the email. By the way, you know who you are if you're watching this, which you might be. Um, your fans subscribe to your newsletter because they love you. They respect you, they appreciate you, they want to support you. So if you sent them more than one email a month about one specific thing each time, they would love it. They wouldn't unsubscribe and they'd probably buy that thing every single time. Okay, uh, as I digress, let me go back to this breaking down this message. So it was the website, the Patreon, the new music, with all these like different sub links scattering and diluting the message even further. Uh, and then beyond that Patreon, which is part three, was uh, his socials. If you're not already following me, here's where you can follow me on social media. Instagram, keep score at home, keep counting all these. Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook. What am I forgetting? What other social media outlets are there? I mean, there were five or six links right there and with images of like, here's the different content you can get if you go here, 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 and here. And as a result, people are going nowhere.
the next piece. Live shows. Yeah, there's actually uh, live shows again in some places. So there's a link to his show calendar with where you can purchase tickets. If you want to purchase tickets through bands in town, go to this link. If you want to purchase tickets through Ticketmaster, go to that link. You can purchase tickets through my website, go to this link. Uh, it's, it's, it's insane. If he's doing his own marketing, he should fire himself from that and hire someone. If he's actually paying good, hard-earned money for someone to publish that for him, he should fire them yesterday. So there is just way, way too many balls, so to speak, being thrown at the audience. So then after the, uh, the live shows was another subheading. This is like subheading number five or six announcing private concerts not just private shows in your living room living room shows but also private zoom sessions uh, private concerts at different venues outside of your home and zoom you want to rent out um, a coffee shop here's where you can go do that he's partnered with these different venues in these different towns I mean, it is stimulus overload. The only reason I read it is because I'm a marketer. I'm a coach. I help people brand and market and promote their businesses. And I'm looking at it through a very different lens. I'm looking at it through a critical eye. And a confused mind never buys. If you don't get anything else from this video, remember that. A confused mind never buys. It's that simple. So if you can have a solo focus, limit your communication, your ad, your email, your social media post, whatever it is, your call to action on your podcast, your radio interview you're doing with a radio station or a television uh, interview you're doing with the media on TV. And, and they say, hey, where can people follow you and learn more about you? One call to action. I'm performing in your town tomorrow night. Go to my website for tickets. The best way people can follow me is to go to my website. And they can find all the different ways they want to connect with me there. That is, I believe, the ideal response. Ultimately, I also believe, in my humble but highly accurate opinion, yep, uh, you should drive people to your email list. Why? Because really what we are in today is we're in the, uh, the customer data business. To put it in a mercenary way, that's really what we're in is we're in the, we're in the business of collecting customer data. And I don't mean in like a mercenary way or an invasive invade your privacy a data mining manipulative manner I simply mean now more than ever it's important for you to have direct one-to-one -one contact with your customers not to be at the mercy of Facebook Twitter some other social media outlets algorithms that throttle down your views not to be at the mercy of Amazon who it's a race to the bottom in terms of pricing and they're very manipulative and not to be at the mercy of Google. You want to control the message and the viewability, the visibility of it. You can do that with email. You can do that if you have your own app like I do. Go to brew, 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 B -R -U, B -R -U, B -R -U com, and you can sign up to be an early adopter of that. Um, but seriously, shameless plug, you want to drive people to one location where you can communicate with them in the most efficient, effective, user-friendly manner. Just think about how you and your brand put your best foot forward. How is that? It should be via your website. So focus on that singular call to action. Okay? Now, back to my friend, the musician, who has at least 
15 conservatively, maybe 20, quote, balls in the air he's throwing at his audience in this one email newsletter. Um, what could he do differently? And this is my advice for you because we're all in the story. We try and jam too much in our message. Like right now, this, this video is 15 minutes long. I should probably take my own medicine, shorten it up. But what you should do is you should create a content calendar. You got 15 different points you want to make with your audience, 15 different emails, right? I could do 15 different videos on all these things. I probably will. This is a broad overview. But you can drip that content out via email, via blog posts, whatever you want, video, over time. If you have customers, they want to hear from you and they want to hear from you frequently, right? What's the old saying? Um, I'm trying to remember it. It's not, it's not, it's like a confused mind never buys, but it's, uh, anyway, I'll come back to that. I'm having entrepreneurial ADD moment right now, but my point being, you want a content creation calendar and you want to plan, you want to map out what you communicate and when. The example of an email newsletter like my friend, uh, drip it out. You have 15 different messages that's every other day over a month. They're not going to unsubscribe, and if they do, they weren't customers. A customer is someone who makes a custom of buying from you. A customer is not someone who bought something once or maybe twice. It's someone who makes a custom of buying from you over and over and over again. The people who do that the most are super fans. I talk about this all the time in my uh, inner circle with my members. Super fans are your most valuable customers. They, you can't over communicate with them enough. You can't send them enough content. If they heard from you every day, they wouldn't be annoyed. They would be thrilled. And 80% of your revenue comes from super fans. That's right. It's the old 80-20 rule in action again. 20% of your fan base will drive 80% of your revenue. 20% of your activity will drive 80% of your revenue. Timeless principle across industries. So, what you want to do is create a plan. I have a content creation calendar available in my membership site for my members. The ones who use it get great results. You can get a content creation calendar with your subscription to my inner circle. Um, the shameless plug but in all seriousness you can get one of them a lot of other places you can create your own you can just simply map out on a whiteboard what you want to send to who and when but you don't want to have a scattered approach right one ball in the air at a time that you're throwing at your customers so they can catch it so they can process it it's that simple don't complicate winning you don't have to cram everything into one message. You're complicating winning when you do that. So have that solo focus. Your customers will catch it. Where can you get more information? And where can you follow me if you're finding this video for the first time? I'm not going to send you 12 different places. Go to coachbrew.com. There's a link in the, the description of this video to my website. Coachbrew.com. It's that simple catch you in the next episode of The Brood Awakening.